So, Jack, Jack is doing his thing. Yes, good boy. He had a good boy. He had a big day yesterday. Let's go. Hi, buddy. What place? Yeah, I'm place. Good boy. Yes, that's a good man. Do it down. Okay, let's go. Yeah, there you go. Come on now. Jack, down. Uh-uh, down. Good boy. So that down right there was extremely hard for him to do. He did not want to do a down. No. Jack, down. And he did everything in his power to basically say, fuck you. I'm not gonna lay down and you cannot make me lay down. All of his troubles and all the things that he was thinking came out. But we were able to get over it, train through it, get on the other side and we have a dog that wants to participate now. Not only does he want to participate, but he's understanding that, that he doesn't get to make every decision all the time and that there's things that he has to do when he's told to do so yeah. he can just he can just hang out now you don't have to let him you don't have to keep doing stuff okay. he can just go do whatever yeah. it doesn't matter so but more or less you know like he had to learn that he couldn't just do whatever he wanted whenever he wanted to do it he had to come come sit with us here you know and that he had to learn like it's not all about what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, or how he wants to do it. It's about how his people, his pack, and everything else, you know? <laughs> all these things matter, and they all have they have rewards, and it has its own set of consequences on things, doesn't it? But he's uh, he had a big milestone moment today and yesterday, and that's what we call the hump. So I think we're over the hump now. Um, the next bits of things that's going to happen is e-collar training and more proofing. We got the core stuff in, but now we got to use the core stuff that we taught him to overcome the more complex stuff. So that's going to be kind of what's coming up next for him. Um, we're into the big training stuff now, so we'll take more videos and uh, start sending some stuff over. Um, as we talk about what Jack is learning, there's certain things that I want you guys to learn, right, and understand. Let me see if I can flip this camera. I can't. <laughs> Here, uh, switch. Yep. So, yeah, sorry, you guys gotta look at me now. Um, <laughs> a couple things that, like, as Jack learns what he has to learn, what we have to learn on our side is a couple things that we have to understand, you know, and one of the main things that we want you guys to understand is dogs are creatures of pattern. Okay. They're not just arbitrarily doing random shit. They're literally following patterns. If a pattern pays and gives them reward, they will do that pattern again. If that pattern leads to nowhere and it's not rewarding, they will pick a different pattern. So that's kind of how it all translates and comes to being, right? So the pattern that I want you guys to start thinking about is you know, you guys always say, like, Jack doesn't do this, Jack will do that, or he won't listen here, he won't do that here. Why dogs don't listen to us is because quite often the pattern that they're experiencing ends with you guys trying to do something. He says, no, I'm not going to do it, and then that's where the pattern stops. So there's no consequence to him ignoring you or consequence to him doing whatever he wants to do. So he's learning that... The pattern with us is, okay, they're cool people, they like to have a good time, and if I wanna keep having a good time with them, when they ask me to do something, I can't, they can't be ignored. So he's learning, ah, oh, ignoring them, there's a consequence. So I want you guys to start thinking about those kinds of things, and start thinking about how you guys are interacting with him, because those things are, gotta, are gonna need to change little by little. Um, I'm going to go over all, all those things as we make more videos. 
But that's the first concept I want you guys to start really deeply thinking about is dogs are creatures of patterns. What pattern is my dog perceiving as I interact with him? Um, and I'm gonna dive deeper and deeper into it as we go. All right, that's enough for now. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you later.